So we got a new exciting update, which is new cabinets for the garage. I want to make this my dream garage, and in doing so, I'm going to need some new cabinets. So we're going to be fixing this, this in here. And right now I've got three bays, one, two, three. Bronco to be named later, body. Uh, you can see the chassis right there. And then the Stormtrooper Bronco right there. And then over here we've got bikes, all the big bits to the Bronco to be named later. Small or small bits for the Bronco to be named later on the free shelf there. And then the rest of my uh, automotive stuff and lawn stuff there. And then like old bikes, new bikes, camping gear, uh, just random crap on the back wall. And then I have my small compressor here. This is my kind of my rebuild station for big items like transmissions and things like that. But it's old and worn out. And, uh, and then I got a bunch of junk underneath there. Old pegboard on the wall, random crap. Uh, what I want to do is I want to clear all of this out. Put the cabinetry coming in here. Doing a 90 and going right to the door there. So this will all be solid cabinetry. Taking all of this and putting it in cabinets instead of out on the wall. That includes everything that's up here. Hopefully we'll be able to fit in there as well and get all that all out of here. Um, making it easier for me to use my main workspace right there. And then have all my tools there. So that's kind of what we're going to be working on today. Taking a break from the Bronco. Uh, the rockers are kicking my butt right now. I've been working on these things for two solid weeks. and. Uh, I'm at the point now where I may end up buying new rocker panels uh, for no reason other than to think that maybe they'll fit better. But um, so I'm going to take a break from that. Sorry, I'm really close on the passenger side, but um, man, I'm like literally two millimeters off somewhere and it's driving me crazy. So this would be a nice break. Freshen up the garage, uh, just added new lighting uh, The uh, probably about a month ago. The lighting made a huge difference. So now I just need to get the, all the rest of this under control and maybe that will be the missing link to me getting some progress done with the Broncos. So uh, I'm gonna start getting this thing clean. picked up one of these uh, they're about 10 bucks it's like a transmission pan that's what I call it anyway uh, link in description day two now and uh, so last night uh, the uh, just like Colorado normally is especially in May we had a cold front come through with rain and now it's uh, like 38 degrees so doors are shut and uh, spent most of last night getting these walls cleared as you can see all the clutter is gone well it's not gone it's just piled right next to the stormtrooper uh, but will be dealt with I've got plenty of under storage cabinet space now so that won't be a problem getting it organized an old filing cabinet I gotta get rid of that I've had for 30 years gotta figure out where I'm gonna put 
the compressor. I think the free shelving is probably going to go away. All of the Stormtroopers bits are in these containers right here, and I've got a um, basement storage that I believe they're going to go in. Uh, and then all of our camping gear. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that yet, but I, I don't really like that there. So I think it's probably going to go away or redesigned to hold parts. So anyway, this is the beginning of the cabinetry right here all the way down there and then this will be gone up here and then all of the big tools that I have like the well they're over there somewhere like the press and the drill press and uh, I've got a lot of other tools that I normally keep underneath uh, and only pull them out when I need them now I've got plenty of room I can have a station for each thing make it a lot easier and a lot faster to get to things so I'm gonna continue getting the uh, tops and everything on this and show you the end result uh, then I've got some vacation coming up uh, next week. And then, and then I still have to get the stormtrooper done. So these were custom cabinets built, uh, kind of as a bar. And it was a, a pretty linear bar. I've had to kind of reconfigure it. I marked every single piece the way it came out to, so I could put it back in um, exactly like it came apart and kind of put it together really quickly but I decided instead of running it straight down this wall this wall's not long enough for all the cabinetry decided to take out that old monstrosity of a work table that I had here and, and create a kind of a, a an L here which gives me you know centralized room around all the vehicles to not only keep things stored but also to have plenty of workspace but in doing so I have to now cut and reconfigure everything to get it to fit right so that it looks as good as it did when I took it out and not just look like a hack job. So now we've got every cabinet bolted up to the wall. Every cabinet is level. We're going to get all the cabinets screwed together this way to create even more secure uh, top. Stringers are in place. The gap fillers are in place for the top. We are ready to put our top on and then I will have brand new custom cabinetry in the garage. And then maybe you can see it here, but I'm thinking faux brick and then like 42 inch TV right there really wanting a kegerator right over there with uh, two spouts one that always runs Breckenridge Avalanche and then the other one is a seasonal tap that will rotate how about that does that sound good and then over here we're gonna have all of our individual work pieces as we go down so that it'll be easier to uh, to work in stations yes
We're going to measure. So we need to measure. What's the measuring tape? Okay. You take this all the way down to that side. Back to the edge of the cabinet. There you go, just like that. All right. Okay. So we have. Come on down here and tell me what we have. We have. So, that, so is it right here or here? We're going to go right to this edge. So we have 14 feet. And then let's call it a half. A half. Okay, so we have 14 and a half, and then there's 14 and one inch. So we're going to call it 14 and a half. Okay? 14 and a half. Okay, right. now we need to go to the edge of this. So pick it up again, and let's put it on this. Go all the way down the end. Okay. Okay, and then turn it to where there's no twist in this. See how there's a twist? Actually, I'll turn mine. Okay, so it's around the end. Okay, yeah, so come over here. Yep. And we need to make a 14 and a half foot cut. So we're going to come over here, 14 feet, and there's a half. So make a mark right there. Enough. This is all the square. Okay. But it doesn't look like a square. Well, it's a triangle, but it's called a square, believe it or not. So, and the reason why is because you make a square. Square. Okay, do it again. Okay, this is... Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. I think we're scared of the No. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yes. Come on down. Oh no, you have to get <laughs> <laughs> You have to get down, you little bus bird. No. Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> that was fun. All right. Actually it fit me perfect. Alright, now you get to use a nail gun. A nail gun. Wow. A nail gun. Sounds important, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not important. It goes KWOW! Kapow! I know what a nail is. So you put it in and it goes, and you put the button and it goes KAPOW! Yes. You paint the God. Because God got a good theme. Okay. Like mountains and then like your like a red um like what color do you want? Like a red semi? A red A red semi? How about a red Porsche 911? Yes, okay. Red Porsche 911. Yes. Yes, I think that would be it. <laughs> okay. So you push this in. You push it in. So, yeah. yeah. You push it in. And pull the trigger. Push it in. Hold it Cabinets are done. Now on with the wall art. Well, cabinets are in. Don't know if you can see it or not, but nope, nothing there. But got all my, not all of my garage stuff, but a lot of my garage stuff sorted into these five cabinets here. Um, and then on the walls right here, I let Brighton graffiti them. Uh, she thought that was just like the greatest thing in the world. She spent all afternoon on her, basically her first day of summer break, uh, just graffitiing the walls. But we're going to cover these walls. And I'm going to try to do like a brick, like a faux brick or something. And we're going to go all the way around the garage with that. Get everything off the walls. Get everything into cabinets. And uh, try to make it a, uh, I don't know, kind of like a room with cars in it. I don't know. Like my dream garage. Try to make it like a, uh, a room with cars in it instead of like a garage. Uh, my dream garage back in the 80s, you remember that, uh, higher education poster that had all the garages 
Uh, it was like a, I don't know, five or six car garage with uh, BMWs and Mercedes and Lamborghinis and stuff like that. Well, this thing going to be like that. But ever since I was a kid, I wanted a garage that, you know, was more like a room and less like a garage. So that's what I'm going to do here. And then some like uh, some cool wall art, like uh, you know, a, a, a car grill up here, and, and I'm going to put a TV up there. Um, I'm going to ha have some. Uh, I'm into cycling and skiing, so I've got some old cycling frames that I've had since uh, I was very young. That I'm probably going to put up there as wall art. Uh, just have some fun with it. Get creative. Uh, I'm not trying to distract myself from Broncos and Wagoneers, but at the same time, I need to break it up a little bit so I'm not just working on cars all the time. Um, just had to change out the brakes on uh, on the Wrangler. Have to put new tires on the Wrangler, although I'm not going to do that. That's something I got to do. Got to replace taillights on the Ford F-150. So much to do. So more coming up this summer. My Point Three Garage. Subscribe. That's a wrap for My Point Three Garage. Maybe a kegerator in here. Got to have some neon in here. Neon. 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 So help me build this garage by tuning in.